Hello and welcome to the video. I'm delighted to be joined today by Colin from uh, Lightspeed Systems. Apps Events are a partner with Lightspeed Systems. They have some great filtering, um, safety and safeguarding systems. So today we're going to do a quick overview and learn from Colin about the, the products that Lightspeed uh, has. Colin, hi, welcome to the video. Thanks, Dan. Yeah, it's great to be here. It's lo lovely to chat. I know we've been talking about doing this for a while, so it's nice to actually get some time in the diary sit down and have a, have a bit of a chat. Um, I did say to you before that, you know, I like to talk. I'm, I'm pretty good at it. Um, it's perhaps too much. So you have to interrupt me if we need to, but I'll try and give a little bit of an overview about, about Lightspeed as we, we typically find, particularly in that international schools market where apps events are, are so strong that we're not particularly well known at, at times, but that of course, isn't necessarily the case globally. And, and that's uh, something I want to try and try and articulate today in this video and uh, this, uh, this chat with you, if I can, Dan. So let me let me just start then. I, I will give you some numbers. It's a, it's a good way to illustrate the size and scale that Lightspeed operate at. So um, our history and pedigree, we've been around for about 25 years now, um, working solely in the ed tech space, uh, working around uh, just the schools market. And we support today somewhere between 20, 22 million students on our platform. Um, that, that history and heritage comes out of the, the USA. And we, we are proud to say we support uh, seven of the 10 largest school districts that we have uh, across the United, United States, which obviously uh, means that we're, we're used to dealing with size and scale. However, of course, you can hear a British slash Scottish slash Northern Irish accent here. We've got a large uh, number of our, our customers also rooted in the, the British curriculum based in the UK. And then a further 39 countries across the world where we have representation, including possibly some of the people who may be watching this video. That means, you know, ultimately we're used to seeing um, all, all sorts of things. We're used to seeing all of uh, the potential ways that devices could be deployed. Uh, we're used to seeing uh, all of the potential pitfalls and problems and working with the schools around the globe to be able to conquer that. It, it means I can speak with confidence that, you know, if we're, you've got a, 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 a particular issue we could look at and really good strong chance that we'll be able to work uh, and, and solve that uh, uh, together across the solutions that we've got. Lightspeed like to think, and I've already called it already about that education obsessed part, but we, we like to see that sort of three elements of our mission that we really string together. We are obsessed by education. It's right there in the center and we don't supply our tools and our services to any other market outside uh, of that particular area. And, you know, that mission of supporting students to, to provide a better experience when they're using digital technology in the classroom is something that we all hold dear. I mean, I first met Dan and I first met the Apps Events team uh, previously when I worked in a Scottish local authority. A lot of my team have also came directly from being teachers and working in digital leadership. It makes an awful lot of sense where we see the power of technology in the classroom and we want to take that to a bigger reach. So you'll find when you're, you're working with us that we, we always like to make sure that we are, are staying true to the mission of supporting students wherever we can. Yeah, I think but, else events are very similar in that, that you know, and I see that about lights, but obviously, you've, you know, you've worked for a school. Most of our team, virtually everyone has worked for a school, either in a teaching role or, or an IT role. So I think it, um, it's good to have that. That's why I like Lightspeed. It's good to have that education focus. You know, so many companies that have an enterprise focus and education is kind of a, a side project. And, and I, I don't see that about Lightspeed. And it, it's so true because ultimately, Dan, you, you know, the, the things that we do and the things that, that most people can deliver, I mean, you can stand up in a corporate world for a corporate customer, no problem. It's a much more simple environment. But we all know across education, it's a much more complex scenario. We have to meet and tailor that to a very individual set of needs. And that ultimately is how we're set up and how we're uh, you know, scaled and designed at Lightspeed from a, you know, a human capital perspective, how we're here to support you, but also how our products are designed because they are solely designed to be put in the hands of, of IT leaders, school leaders uh, to be used and to support students in their, in their learning. Fantastic. Now, Dan, we, we, we did this a little bit of a pop quiz before we start, but there is five different solutions that we that we offer. I think we we have joint, uh, you know, joint schools on, on nearly all of these platforms. Now, yeah. always room for more, of course, folks, if you're listening, but it's a big portfolio uh, of, of different solutions that we've got. 
Um, I'm going to give you about a minute, uh, Dan, if that's all right, on, on each yep. one. And then I think what we probably should do is, is maybe, you know, we'll, we'll we'll finish our conversation and then deep dive into each of these products uh, as we, sure. we get a, a chance to do that. I think that's a really strong way. But let's start up in the top left. We'll start with, with Lightspeed Filter because it's it's what we're most known for as a, as a content filtering solution uh, to be able to control what students are seeing on their devices. And I just referenced previously that you know, yes, you can have a, my a myriad of corporate solutions that will give you content filtering, but the functionality and the way that we report goes beyond just complying with legislation to give you much greater depth of reporting and information and much greater granularity across uh, across what we're doing. And of course, we've got some secret sauce in there, some patented pieces of technology that allow us to filter on the device. So that means particularly if you've got uh, devices that leave the school campus, uh, or students who, who love to try and maybe get around content filtering by hopping to different networks, uh, we've got you protected too. Uh, so that's our, our, our content filtering tool. We, we see more and more, it's, it doesn't have the same depth of pedigree. It's been around for about seven years rather than 25, but our, our alerting tool is increasingly, uh, increasingly popular. If you think about filtering logs, Dan, you, you know, a teacher or an IT manager is going to get a chance maybe at the end of the week to go and look at those summarized reports and, and they're potentially, hopefully not, but they might find something concerning that students have been browsing um, through the week. Um, unfortunately, um, the nature of the world we have today, sometimes that is, is, is information that needed to be acted upon in the moment. And that immediacy is something we see our schools asking for more and more. So rather than something just flowing into a web log uh, that exists there, it's now proactively notifying you um, of whenever there is something concerning that's happening on a student device. But that something is something, again, we try and work on because we, we know that you know, we're not the only ones innovating on this space, but we wanna make sure that we are providing the most targeted option here. So we're using so, machine learning to try and reduce a lot of the false positives to get the noise out of the system. So you're only getting those alerts at the, the real time. We're making sure we provide the broadest amount of coverage that we can. So um, I know, you know a lot of the schools who'll be watching, Dan, who are, you're, you're connected to are obviously using um, Google Workspace. You know, we have API access into all of the Google Workspace tools. We're able to provide that full coverage there as well as the device. So not only are you protecting a device that the school potentially owns, but you're also protecting that environment and protecting the students in that environment rather than just necessarily the cybersecurity uh, you know, aspects of, of maintaining that, uh, that particular tenancy. Yeah. So really powerful stories and you know, that we've got, and it's, I've got a lot of personal history with this particular tool from my time in Midlothian that uh, makes it a very, very big passionate uh, area for me. Great. We'll continue across the top line. Uh, classroom management is um, very much, um, you know, what you see is what you get. You know, name is a is a, is the, the clue is in the name, I should say. So this is allowing you to be able to view the student screens on a Chromebook, a Windows device, a Mac device um, that you're installing our, our little agent on. It means the teacher will be able to see all of the, the screens of their students. They'll be able to put it up on the uh, interactive panel in front of the class for a bit of. Um, to allow them to have a little bit of um, knowledge around exactly what's happening. But going a little bit deeper, we can, it's, we can also share the teacher screen down to all of those devices or individual students with everyone else. Great accessibility function for those with a visual difficulty um, and great for connecting remote learners as well, because this isn't this is reliant on the cloud rather than anything that happens locally. So if you do have learners who are dialing in from another physical location, allowing them to be more connected to the learning experience that's happening in the classroom uh, is, is really pretty powerful. Great. And if, with that, you also all get these solutions can, can be purchased standalone as well. Uh, absolutely. So yeah, yeah. you've got benefits of scale, I guess, that you know they're within the same platform. So if you're getting your students' data put into one uh, information so that we can filter granularly, granularly, we also know who they are for alerting. We also know which classes they should be in. You know, syncing to, into Google Classroom, for example, from a classroom management perspective too. But yeah, um, you, you do not have to sort of look at Lightspeed as, you know, buy one, get everything type thing. It, it really sure. can be suited to the needs that you're looking for. Uh, and I guess that's no more relevant than our, our mobile device management tool, where uh, this is, is really centered strongly on iOS uh, and Mac devices. So this is that policy management that you get for Chromebooks through Google Admin Console, 
but you know, what are you doing to support the iOS devices or the Mac devices that you're looking to manage and configure yeah. um, and, and getting them supervised and supporting there? So we see a, a lot of examples, as you call out, Dan, you know, people will look at us for the other products, but actually they don't have any iOS or Mac on their estate. So don't need to look at licensing there or numbers are, are different, for example, too. Definitely. That just leaves our, our the one final product, I guess, to discuss. It's our, our newest. It's only been around for a couple of years, but it's already making huge waves. And it's because it is solving a, a really finite and, and particular problem. Um, you know, investments into digital technology have never been higher. They're set to increase, but budgets are even tighter. Um, and the, the era of... Um, the era where there was a lack of rigor into that spending is really coming to an end. And you see IT managers and, and technology um, directors really questioning, do they need to buy the 2000 licenses for that piece of software? Is it really being used? Sure. And you see them talking to instructional uh, technologies or education coaches or tech coaches saying, you know, what can we do here? I can see, um, you know, this tool isn't being used or, what data can we do to inform professional development strategies or indeed digital strategies? And Digital Insight tries to step in and support that across your entire ecosystem, across all of the devices, any web tool or installed software that you're using, we're getting activity metrics uh, that we can sort of cross-reference against all of our, our educational app database. We can show usage at a sort of school group level. We can show it by the individual schools. We can break it down into year group or grade level. We can break down into particular individual classes, for example. And then lastly, we go right down to the granular level of giving you that sort of information per student, including like a screen time average per student as well. And slicing all of that data in as many ways um, as, as you can possibly think. Um, we see some, some amazing statistics coming out of digital insight of, of, of customers and school groups are saving somewhere between 15 and 20 percent of their IT budgets just by being able to actually nail down that, you know, we don't need to license all of that. We need to license more of this one uh, yeah. or, uh, you know, understanding the, the, the application landscape across their school from a GDPR perspective and a compliance with the student data privacy as well. So um, there's loads of use cases on, on that one, and we can really get into the, the, the geeky data when we, when we look and do a little bit more of a deeper dive, uh, I think, on, on digital insight. Fantastic, Colin. So that's a great overview of the five uh, products from uh, Lightspeed. Uh, there's going to be a separate video. We're going to dive into filter and alert. So uh, check it out. It'll be linked to from this video in YouTube. But uh, Colin, anything else to say about uh, Lightspeed? I think that's a really good, as you say, overview. It, it gives you a little bit of a flavor for, for where we are and, and who we are. We, we want to be available. We want to be there. We want to support your digital infrastructure. We want to support the digital learning goals that you've got for your school. And we re really want to make sure that if there's a need that we can help and support and via apps events, I know we'll be connected to, to many of you schools soon. And I, I'm, I'm looking forward to the chance to, to speak with you all. Great. Colin, thank you very much.